Okay. This is the position, uh, the real position of the liver inside the uh, body. As we know, uh, normally it lies in the uh, right side of the body. Uh, this uh, anatomically, we can divide the liver into a right lobe and a left lobe. These are separated by the falciform ligaments anteriorly. This is the remnant of the ventral mesentery from embryological origin. If we go to the, vis uh, the visceral surface of the liver, the right and left anatomic lobes are separated by the fissure for the ligamentum venosum and the fissure for the ductus venosus. Okay, this is derived from the left umbilical vein. Uh, and the, this is the ligamentum teres, or the round ligament of the liver, which is derived from the left umbilical vein. And this is the ligamentum venosum, the position of the ligamentum venosum, which is derived from the ductus venosus, from embryological origin. So, the liver anatomically consists of the right lobe and the left lobe, and these were the lines of separation. Then you have the functional division of the liver, uh, the right and left functional lobes of the liver, uh, the line goes uh, more towards the right, okay? Uh, meaning we cannot separate it anteriorly, but posteriorly we can uh, have this part, this which was the anatomical left lobe of the liver, along with these two portions of the right lobe. This is the caudate lobe of the liver, okay? This is the caudate lobe. And this is the quadrate lobe, as though it has, you know, four sides. Quadrate lobe of the right lobe of the liver. However, functionally, the quadrate lobe and the caudate lobe are parts of the left lobe. So you have the functional left lobe of the liver, composed of the anatomical left lobe, the quadrate, and most of the caudate, almost all of it. And you have the right functional lobe, which is only this part of the right anatomical lobe of the liver. Here, this portion is the process of the caudate lobe, the caudate process, which extends into the right functional lobe of the liver. So the line uh, separating the right and left functional lobes of the liver posteriorly is along the fossa of the gallbladder and the fissure for the inferior vena cava. Along this line, this is the left functional lobe, this is the right functional lobe. Okay. Uh, some obvious structures, this is the simplified model. We have the other model which contains more detailed structures. So we wanted to begin with the simple one. This is the gallbladder, this is the fundus, the body of the gallbladder, and this is the neck. Okay? And if we go back to the ventral aspect, this is the fundus of the gallbladder. It lies, it lies at the transpylotic plane. The neck of the gallbladder terminates or connects with uh, the cystic duct. This is the cystic duct. Okay. And here it's joining with the common bile duct, uh, common hepatic duct, to form the common bile duct. Cystic duct, common hepatic duct, common bile duct. Next to the common bile duct is the portal vein. And uh, we can say this is the, if we take it like this and we go back, this is like the right branch uh, or of the portal vein. Okay? Again, this is the hepatic artery. This is the left branch, small, cannot be seen really here. And this one, this larger one is the right branch, the right hepatic artery. And from the right hepatic artery, probably they have drawn this as the cystic artery. Okay, it could be, because it is usually a branch of the right hepatic artery. Okay, uh, the, also obvious on the uh, supraposterior aspect of the liver is the inferior vena cava. Okay, and uh, the, uh, the ligaments and peritoneum of the liver, again, this is the falciform ligament. As we go superiorly, the falciform ligament divides. On the left side, it forms the left triangular ligament. The left triangular ligament. 
On the right side, this, it forms the coronary ligament. And if we go further, it becomes the right triangular ligament. Okay? Okay. And as you can see, the area that is bounded by the two uh, limbs of the right triangular ligament uh, is devoid of peritoneum. It's just a bare area of the liver. And lymph from this part of the liver drains into the posterior mediastinal nodes. Okay? And of course, the two other areas of the liver that are not bound and covered with peritoneum are the fossa of the gallbladder beneath it, because the peritoneum comes like this. So that part of the liver is not bound or covered by peritoneum. And also the area of the inferior vena cava. These are the three parts. Okay, this is for the simplified model. Okay, and this is the... This is the...